I find it extraordinarily interesting to write with a story in mind. I'm very, uh, very program oriented. And so almost always I have something, a scenario, if you will, that uh, provides uh, the basis for the inspiration and for the way the composition works out. When I was in music training, writing for film was considered a very low level occupation for a composer. Today, it is a, a high level occupation. The recording that we're doing here is actually the second part of a um, you might call it a short series of CDs uh, called Music for Great uh, Films of the Silent Era. A celebration, certainly, a piece about silent film heroines and, and saluting the great ladies, Garbo and Pickford and so on, of the silent screen. A special celebration of an instrument, the Ophiclide, that has been, I would say, virtually extinct for uh, well over a hundred years a piece for flute and orchestra called Summer Nocturne. And Hearts of the World is uh, based on a D.W. Griffith film that was made during the war. And I had scored that for the Museum of Modern Art film collection in New York. As the centenary of World War I came along, it seemed to me it was a good time to take a look at it again and give it a full symphonic treatment. All of this music originated with the film scores that Bill Perry wrote for the old silent film. So there is the sense of, of going back in time with this. Bill is the most lively and energetic person I know, and he makes me feel old. <laughs> when I was only half past three, I already knew I wanted to be an actor. Each one is a completely different musical world. And as soon as I hear the orchestra start each song, uh, I know exactly what Bill wants, and it's very easy to find it. At least half of my job is to be an actress. In this piece, um, it's, it's not easy per se, but it's written in such a way that I can, I can merge the two, completely balanced, the singing and the acting, and uh, it's very satisfying. <laughs> The delight in making this disc is that we've brought together an assemblage of absolutely wonderful soloists. The Offa Clyde soloist, the best in the world, has come here from Sydney. One of the Alpha Clyde's really great aspects, and that's its legato playing. And the ability to play on a brass instrument with keys, you can get such a wonderful uh, liquid legato that can uh, be a little bit more challenging on a valved instrument. So it has a, a, a very unusual, very interesting um, effect upon the sound, where you can slide between the pitches. Flutist from the Montreal Symphony, who is just re remarkable, Tim Hutchins. It has moments of reflection, moments of exuberance and uh, jollification, and uh, moments of tender sadness too, I think, in a certain way, or, or uh, nostalgia, a little bit. But mostly, it's just a lovely piece. <laughs> My favorite concert pianist, uh, Michael Chertok, uh, comes in from Cincinnati and the Cincinnati Symphony. These tributes to the silent movie queens have made me very, very curious to learn more about them. And so I think in this CD, uh, Bill 
is singing a song to the things he loves and he's gonna make a lot of people fall in love with him as well. We have two young soloists. Uh, they're uh, really quite spectacular. Wallace Junta is the mezzo and John Brancy is the baritone. Our conductor keeps asking the orchestra to just really imbue it with this rich Hollywood, almost a glamorous sound. And when I hear that, I just get really excited because I, I, I get to step into another time. I think about my relatives who, who lived through that time, my great-grandfather, my great-grandmother, and what they had experienced. Being able to sing this music kind of brings me to their, their time. We've really put together a, a kind of, for me at least, a dream team. I knew that you'd come back to seven for seven Where else could you I love melody. It's uh, the most important part in my musical arsenal. Bill is such an exceptional melodist, and he's really gifted at uh, evoking colors and uh, dramatic scenes through just you know one stroke of an instrument or um, a, a small phrase in, in a particular section. Uh, it doesn't take very much for him to draw a very striking image of a dramatic mm. picture. One of the most enlightening and, and charming moments in my life was walking down Fifth Avenue in New York the night after a, there had been a television version of one of my scores. And a young man who must have been no more than 15 or 16 years old passed me on the sidewalk and he was whistling one of my themes. And to have been able to touch one person especially a young person, and perhaps add to the happiness of that day. That's very satisfying. Perhaps that's why we're in this particular business. Why? 